Technology has had a large influence on human transportation in the past century. Cars were first introduced to the mainstream market about 100 years ago. In the meantime, we have seen many developments that have made personal travel much more effective and efficient. There are over 806 million cars in the world and most cars are only used 5% of the time. Autonomous driving will have a huge effect on many different industries. This revolution has only just started. Tesla cars implemented quite a few self-driver mechanisms. They can switch lanes, adjust their speed and react to their environment. Many other car manufacturers are investing heavily in new techniques. And it is expected that within 15 years, consumers will begin to adopt fully autonomous cars and by 2040 it will be the primary mode of transport. We talked to a senior practice leader of disruptive technology at Gartner. Well, the biggest change absolutely will be in the aftermarket. What exactly is the aftermarket? The aftermarket is the market that describes the life cycle of a car after it leaves the factory. So for example, who owns a car, who insures a car, who services a car, where it will be parked and maintained. So in this video, we will be focusing on the influence of AV technology, on the business models used in the insurance industry and the parking industry. So currently, the aftermarket is still segregated with different players that do not really interact that often. So, how, how will this change, change in, in the future? future? Autonomous cars will make shared mobility even more attractive. Once this has become more mainstream, the aftermarket disruption will happen. The question remains, once a car is made, who will own it? With self-driving cars, there will be less need to actually own a car and instead people could make use of service fleets of large transportation providers. Companies much like Uber will employ their own fleets of cars and offer transportation services. So this means that the current auto manufacturers such as Audi or Mercedes will have to adapt their businesses to not only compete on selling the cars but also on offering transportation services themselves. So this is where business network will become increasingly important. Due to the complexity of this new industry, companies and incumbent players will be forced to compete and cooperate on multiple levels at the same time. There will be a higher interdependency between manufacturers and transport service providers, which means that the players in the industry will be even more reliant on business networks and partnerships. There are other aftermarkets that increase the need for business networks. Well, the whole financial industries are obviously in affected in multiple ways. One, by the owners, but secondly, also the insurance part of the uh, financial industry is, is, is going to be affected. Because self-driving cars, hopefully, and most likely, will be much safer. And since there are less cars, and those cars drive more safely, insurance will have an impact in terms of the premium they can ask for the services they provide in, in insurance, as well as how much damage control they will have to pay for that. Insurance legislation is a big problem for autonomous cars. When an accident happens, who is at fault? Most often, accidents will be caused by technical faults of the product. That means that manufacturers will be the ones that are liable due to product liability. Now, instead of having millions of different personal contracts with people, insurance providers will have to negotiate deals and partnerships with a few larger service providers. Now, this is an opportunity for them to capture a large part of the markets. However, this is also a large threat to many existing insurance providers due to the fact that they might lose out on such large market share. Self-driving cars also cause less accidents due to taking out human error. This is a strength for the general public, whereas this is a huge threat to insurance companies. With such a large, um, with such a large decrease in accidents, insurance providers will not be able to charge as much as they normally do meaning that the general market size of the insurance industry will probably decline. Take a look at the general attractiveness of this market with the influence of autonomous cars using Porter's five forces of industry attractiveness. First, we'll look at the bargaining power of buyers. The number of customers decreases and the size of orders increases. This has a positive effect on the power of buyers. On the other hand, the number of suppliers probably will decrease slightly, but not as much as the amount of buyers. Therefore, the bargaining power of suppliers will decrease. Due to the low frequency of accidents, the market size will decrease, which means people need less capital to be able to offer insurance. This lowers the barriers to entry and therefore increases the threat of new entrants. The lower frequency of accidents also has another effect. Covering accident costs such as repairs and human costs is a lot easier. Large fleet companies could cover these themselves, meaning they could substitute this insurance service instead of using the service provided by insurance companies. This increases the threat of substitutes.
Here is a complete overview of the pros and cons of the new insurance business model as influenced by autonomous cars. If you would like to see this table for a longer period of time, please pause the video. Overall, autonomous cars will have a negative influence on the attractiveness of the insurance industry. Shit. Again, no free parking spot. What's going on? <sighs> have you ever considered how much time is being wasted while looking for a parking spot? It became a major issue with ongoing urbanization and city congestion. Recently, a parking spot near Hyde Park in London was put on the market for more than £350,000. That's more than an average house price! Fortunately, the issue can be resolved with self-driving cars adoption and upcoming smart parking systems. Ah, there it is. Free. The car does not need to be parked very close to where you need to be. It needs to be there, it needs to be driving somewhere close to you, it needs to be available quite quickly, but you don't need the large parking lots that you have close to your work or to your home. So we will certainly see a lot of change there as well. Let's start with one ridiculous fact. Today, the average car is used only 5% of the time, while 95% of its lifetime is parked and not utilized. With AV adoption, smart car parks will change the urban landscape dramatically. Some researchers predict that in 15 years from now, the automated car parks will diminish the need for parking space up to 90% of current spots, which is more than 5.7 billion square meters just in the US. To give you an idea of what this number means, it's 1% of the whole Earth's surface space. So what will happen with the car parks in the future? We can take a look at the general attractiveness of this market with the influence of autonomous cars using Porter's five forces of industry attractiveness. First, if we look at the bargaining power of buyers, there will be less individual customers and larger orders by customers, which gives the buyers more negotiating power. Now, this is the same for suppliers, and therefore it first seems that buyers and supplier power is about equal. However, we believe that there will be a higher switching cost for buyers. Therefore, supplier power will be slightly higher. When we look at the threats of new entrants, we currently see that the threat of entrance is quite high. Starting a parking lot is not very expensive. However, in the future, they will need to build more than just a parking lot. They would need to build a high-tech service hub. There will be higher entry and maintenance costs. Therefore, the threat of new entrants will be lower. When we look at the threat of substitutes, car parks will probably not be affected by geolocation anymore. This means there are more substitutes for parking spots. A car can keep driving, or go home to charge, or take any number of other options available. Here is the complete overview of the pros and cons of the new parking business model as influenced by autonomous cars. To have a better look at this table, please pause the video. Overall, we can see that the parking industry will probably merge with the auto service industry. And how will we slowly transition to all of these disruptions that you just talked about? Yeah, okay. So, this is going to be slow because cars take a long time, okay? So, every car you see driving around drives now for 15 years at least. So that if we completely would change now, 15 years later, then it would be transformed. The Gartner Hype Cycle is published each year, which shows Gartner's estimations of upcoming technology adoption. Just because some technologies are very hyped up, it does not mean we are close to using them yet. Autonomous car technology is at the top of its hype curve and still more than 10 years away from mainstream adoption.